Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of Bible Illustrated for today. Uh, today's question comes from Obarlogan. Again, I apologize if I mispronounce your name. I have no idea how to pronounce majority of Irish names. And I apologize if this isn't an Irish name and I have just made a huge fool of myself. Uh, he or she asks, Hi, could you comment more about why and how the spirituality of St. Ignatius of Loyola is contrary to Orthodox spirituality? Thanks. Uh, thank you for your question, Obarlogan. Uh, it is actually very simple. Um, one of the characteristics of Ignan uh, spirituality is that you have to imagine yourself in the scenes that you're meditating on. Um, I think uh, this is uh, uh, this is a view of pr of prayer that was sort of um, has become sort of fashionable around 16th century in Catholic countries. Uh, I have found it um, in the writings of Fr uh, Francis de Sales, uh, where, but even he uh, co uh, comments like that it isn't one of the best ways of prayer. He says that any other uh, prayer method would do. Uh, however, why do, why do Orthodox have extreme issues with this uh, uh, method of prayer? Uh, Orthodox are usually on extreme guard against pre uh, prelist. Prelist uh, is uh, it's a Slavic word, I think. Uh, I, I don't know what's the original uh, source of the word, I think Russian, but it means spiritual self-deception. Self and uh, Orthodox uh, are uh, usually instructed in practically every prayer manual to ignore all thoughts that come during prayer. Uh, this especially concerning um, when holy... Uh, uh, like if we have a visions uh, and if we imagine holy people, angels and anything, because uh, we consider these in absolute majority of cases to be infernal and to detract from, uh, from prayer. Uh, and especially because these... Uh, uh, these uh, Thoughts like these uh, can lead us astray, they can make us prideful, we can start imagining that Christ is speaking to us, or the Mother of God, or angels, or some saint, um, and that is uh, that is very problematic. Um, I don't think, uh, I, I'm not sure, but I don't think I have ever seen su uh, uh, suggesting... Uh, um, imagining uh, in any of the early fathers. In fact, there was a huge controversy. I can't remember how was the group called, but they tended to imagine God as a man during their prayer. And this has, uh, this has, had, uh, this has led to a huge controversy, uh, to the point where, uh, where one, of the, uh, one of the members of the uh, heretical group has uh, once the heresy was forbidden uh, he started to cry out where have they taken my god in the sense that now I can't imagine him where has he gone on to uh, and there's there, there's that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it um, if we cut such thoughts off we don't run uh, run the risk of you know uh glorifying our fancy in a way you know so that's it i hope i was of some use to you um i suppose that m much more could be said of this uh, issue but uh, that's pretty much it uh, orthodox are not huge fan fans of imagination and uh, a lot uh, of the orthodox and i would agree to a large extent uh, would claim that uh, the reason why we don't have such such uh, church-changing visions in the Orthodox Church is precisely because of this uh, view of revelations or special mandates by heavenly visitations. Bye!